Welcome everyone, you're opening your apps, but you see this one, unable to verify. And then when you go into your settings, you can see your apps are in fact verified. There's no verify button. What is going on? Apple has blocked your apps remotely. That is what's going on. Apple blocks your apps remotely because you install this application outside of the app store. This here, unable to verify app and this whole installation process is only available to those with large companies of 100 or more employees and they need to test apps internally for testing. Apple has recognized that all these people which downloaded this app did not come from the same location. They were not from a factory in China. They weren't from a head office in you know San Francisco. And because you're not the only person who downloaded this app, there were many more people who did all from different locations. Apple has caught on and they've remotely blocked the applications for everyone. So the first solution, you would need to use an app store which is less popular than the one you just used. If too many people are downloading this application, Apple is gonna recognize why are they all from 150 countries? Our service is meant for everyone in this one country and this one region. But if you use a smaller app store, okay, maybe one person here, one person there is installing uh, an application, that's not gonna be flagged by Apple and the apps will continue to work. The second solution is you're going to need to wait until the app store you use changes their installation. So if we go to the settings here, you can see they have been using, at the time of recording, this of course will change when you're watching, the Sunshine Insurance Group. And you can see that's a company that ties back into what I was saying earlier. If they find a different company which is willing to allow them to host their apps, then that different company will not have the remote block. Okay, so you will not get this unable to verify message. I can find the application. This unable to verify message would disappear if the app store you used was using a different company. You would need to investigate when this happens. You'd have to follow the social medias or you could wait for a smaller store to change the company and then you'd have the best chance of your applications fully working. If you are watching this and you're like, man, that's a lot of effort. Well, the third solution, I've kept it to the end, is you will need to use a computer to initiate your side loading. The unable to verify only happens because the no computer side loading, again, is meant for corporations and you're not part of the corporation. Apple realizes 100 people in 100 countries downloading apps, they're gonna block everyone from using the apps. But with a computer, you can sideload applications and you can sideload them on your own account. This is someone else's account, okay? On your own account, you can create the applications, you can get them working and compatible on your iPhone. And because you're the only person with your account, Apple are not gonna block the apps. They never have and they never will. And so in order to sideload with the computer, it's not as convenient as, you know, without a computer, it will take longer. But if you don't want the unable to verify app message, then you really need to sideload with the computer. And in order to sideload with a computer, you will need to go onto YouTube and you'll need to search for tutorials and a good uh, computer service is known as Altstool. It will install an app on your iPhone, which you can open up. Uh, with that app, you can add apps directly without the computer. So if you need to use a computer, get that computer. If you really need to sideload, then that is your only solution. Otherwise, you will have to have apps working for one day, wait three weeks for the uh, app stores to change the company name and then have apps working for one day. It's not practical, use the computer, or my personal advice would be don't sideload at all. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.